What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're out albacore fishing again. If you didn't check out our last video, we got on pretty good. We're gonna try to get on good today. And the thing that we're most stoked about is people been catching the big tuna, the big eyes, people been catching marlin. That's what we really want to catch today. If that happens, that would be awesome. We're fishing out with Chris P again today, sister boat, he's out somewhere near us. So we're gonna see if we get on some fish today. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, big daisy chain right now with the big jet head cedar plug hopefully we can get on one of these big blue fin big eye yellow fin or marlin so we'll see if we can track something big up into the spread we're running this one way off the back on the shotgun rod and here in our corner rod we got just like a little teaser here mexican flag we're gonna run this off the uh, back right corner just letting this far rod go out 200 yards on the shotgun yeah So this far rod off the left, we had another teaser with a pink and white, uh, one of those boon uh, like feather jigs. Right here, we got a glow going in. This is gonna be just about 20 feet shorter than that uh, tuna tree. And then we got something crazy here that Devin came up with. One of the times we went salmon fishing, we decided to use an A-rig, and he saw it at home, and he's like, you know what, let's try it. So what he did is he put some, uh, some hoochie teasers on here, a couple different colors, and then we're just running a uh, glow on the back of it here. We're gonna run this one pretty close. My, I was mistaken, we're gonna put that rod out last, putting out a, just a Mexican flag here. So Devin's letting the A-rig off that side of the boat. We got a hand line that we're gonna put in. Hand line just gonna be a standard cedar plug. All right, so that's our spread. We got six rods, hand line out. We're gonna see if we get some tune on this. Came off? Came off. Really? Break off? What happened? Yeah, Break broke off. off. Really? Broke off where? In the braid? In the braid, yeah. How? I just saw that it was wrapped around the tip and then I just went to grab it. We just had two come off. One came off on that right rod, one came off on this uh, left rod. That's good though. We've been out here just a few minutes. Hey. Oh, not yet. Drop her down, drop her down, drop her down, drop her down. Oh, doubles. 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 Oh boy. There we go. Mine's not that big. Mine either, but we might oh have two. Oh my god, mine's pulling on me hard now. Dude, my fish is pulling me way hard now. Yeah, baby! Deep orb! There we go. You want me to get a gap? Here, gas me, gas me. Got him? That's a nice albie, dude. Probably around 15, 18 pounds. Mexican flag? Mexican flag. By Boone, 6.5 inch. Got smoked. It's 
better be a good sized fish. I don't think it is, but we managed to not tangle any of those rods, huh? There we go. First albacore of the day. Probably 15, 18 pounds. Not a bad one. Justin's in right behind me. Double ups. He's right here. Is it a good one? I thought it was. Nice, Albie. That's not a bad one, baby. There we go, guys. Doubles. Two nice Albies to start the morning. We had two just come off, so I think it'd be a great day out here. Drop back in and get some more, huh? Yeah. Honestly, it's kind of chaotic to have it just be and Devin on the boat. I do not know how we landed both those two fish without tangling everything up, but we weaved and bobbed our way through. Land it's because we them boys. <laughs> we landed both of we them. We them boys. The rod that broke off over here, it was wrapped around the tip. So we did have doubles earlier. So we'd have four fish in the box if we didn't lose those two. We just got twos right now. We're tacking back towards our numbers and that's for kid doing. So we got going on right now, guys. I'm driving the boat. Devin's kind of trying to manage the rods. It's a little tough with two people. He's just making sure that we don't get any tangles, that they're all staying straight and riding true. And we're going up between like eight to 10 miles an hour right now. I don't know what it is knots. I know the marine guy is talking knots, but eight to 10 miles an hour. That's what those four fish hooked up on. And then the game plan is if we hook into a fish, we're gonna keep that fish hanging at that speed for a little bit longer, like maybe 30 seconds, just to see if you know we get another one coming to spread. And then we're gonna back the speed down a little bit, fight that fish, get it in. That last double hookup, actually, the second one bit once we slowed the boat down. So that's kind of interesting. And that's the same thing that happened on the quad hookups in our last video. So maybe that's something to keep in mind. Kill it, kill it. Double, here, grab this one. Where's that chum? There we go. Uh oh. All right, switch rods, switch rods. Here, take out one. Check the drag, it's pretty loose. Over here, switch. <laughs> this is so much fun. Oh, he's coming at me, coming at me, coming at me. We're tangled, where are we at? Right when we slow down, you notice that? The double hit. I don't think there's a little fish. Uh, I don't think so either. Mine's hammering down on drag. I see, I see That's yours, fine. I see it. It's big, it's big, it's big, it's big. Can you hold that really quick like this? I'm gonna grab the gaff, get it ready. It's right here, it's coming up, he's coming up. Oh. That was a good albacore. Oh, we lost one of them. Right here, buds. All right, let me in. Careful, oh, oh my God. Oh my God, look at him take off. <sighs> Dustin just caught this. That's our third fish. Probably like 24, 25 pounds. Good albacore. Slow us down. Get the gap ready. Hold on. All right, guys, fourth one in the box. Not a bad fish, pushing 30 pounds. So we've been grinding for fish right now. Four fish total, lost three. Devin is like in X Games mode right now, so he's not talking a whole lot. He's like, he's dialed in trying to catch as many fish as we can. So hopefully you get on some more of them. But we've caught fish on Mexican flag, um, like the pink and white tuna treats. We've caught them on, uh, what else? Glove from Pitbull Tackle. Yeah, the glow from Pitbull Tackle, and that's about it. We switched some of the stuff off. Um, we got rid of the daisy chain that we had off the back. We have just a cedar plug. And then the A-Rig, we took that off. And we put just a normal glow from uh, Pitbull Tackle on that side. Good. Good job, baby. Nice shot. Slow it down. How's it feel? Good. It's really good. Took a 
really long run. Devin's saying this fish might be him, so I don't know. Getting kind of excited right now. Just dropped in and then we were in a fish. Pulling on you pretty good? No, it's coming pretty good. Salmon fishing just doesn't compare. I know. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna run this rod in the downriver next year. Fifth albacore of the day. Fought like a damn bluefin. So I was fighting that fish and had his mouth wide open the whole time. And it was like reeling in like a big bag. So it wasn't fighting, not a lot of head shakes, just like big weight. So we finally fixed our gear. We got a big um, cedar plug going off the back on that shotgun rod. We got two Mexican flags on this side. We got a tuna tree on the rod next to the shotgun rod and then two glows on the left side. So we're feeling good. The bite's been kind of slow. We've been hearing chatter on the radio, but we'll see what happens. Number six, you got this dude. Number six, baby. Don't really feel like a big one. You might get peanut. nut. It's too hard to say it's too far out. The evening bites always fire. I think we're gonna crush them. Albacore right there. Sweet. That's a screamer, dude. That's a screamer. Oh, two Avis. Oh, this was big, dude. They're triples! Triples! triples. Root crate that one in a little bit. Oh god, just toss it down. I'm getting spooled. I'm getting spooled. I think we're a three big fish here. Yes! Oh my gosh. Look at this. 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 Out of boy depth. Jeez. Can you tell me Han Solo? I can see it. Can I hear him grab this? Or got food if you want. Put the Devon tag in there. Here, grab the other one. Put the other one. I got it. You ran him? Whoa! Come off the back, maybe?
Yes, triples. There's our triple. That's a stud right there. We hooked into one. We Devin's like, put the rods back in the water. Put the rods back in the water. As soon as that happened, triple. I don't even know how big the other ones were. Another one's in the box. This All afternoon, good albacore. Yeah, this afternoon bite's kicking on. That is a big freaking albacore right there. Dang it. Dude, we had a triple. Uh-huh. And we had that one was on the, the the shotgun was a big one, no? Oh the smoker. So we just had this our shotgun rod go off, which is way off the back of the boat. We have a big pen 115 on there and it was a peeling drag. It had to have been a big fish. That one popped off. We had another screamer on this side come off. I wasn't able to get to the rod in time. Triple here, Devin's on it right now. Feel like a good one? Yeah. Probably 15, 20 pounds. Dude. That was a screamer on that Delta Bay Elite, dude. See that fish on this big rod? Yes, it was peeling. Did you did you loosen the drag? No, it was locked. Really? Oh, I, so we slowed down a bit too. Alright, here, here. Oh shit! You see that? <laughs> oh, this is just our playground. There's nobody else around. We're working this whole school of fish by ourselves. See, those were big ones. No! Ugh. Another stud! That was him on the glow. Oh, he wasn't coming out. This is actually black. No, I'm saying it's a snap for me. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! I'm dropping down, dropping down. I just passed that fish on to Dustin. He was tying up a leader. I'll tie it up so he can get the little workout in, you know? You feel like you have power when you're on that big rod. That one came off and it felt like a pretty good one too. But the bite is super lights out, so I think we're gonna catch more fish right now. I really wonder what that fish was on that shotgun rod because it was peeling on that thing. Big 10 115. Lost quite a few today. Oh, you guys, I was just looking off to the right side of the boat. There's a school of like 500 albacore jumping out of the water right here, so we're trying to turn around as sharp as we can without tangling anything to see if we can get on them. They're still jumping right there. But they are, they're popping off everywhere. I guess Devin just saw a huge marlin. Striped marlin. Striped marlin. Right off the side of the boat. That's crazy. Ways away. 
That fish that Devin just caught actually puked up some bait. And we saw a striped marlin swimming next to the side of the boat. It's been a crazy day. I don't even know how many fish we have in the boat right now, to be honest with you. Honestly, guys, it was kind of a grind today, to start at least. To start, it was a little tough. We caught like, I don't know, it was like four fish or something like that in the morning. Yeah. And then we just pushed through. And at the end of the day there, the afternoon bite really kicked on. We had triple several times, double several times. We didn't land all of them, but I think if we would have landed all the fish today, we probably would have ended up with like over 20. Um, I think we have 13 in here, about to pull them out and show you guys all the fish we caught, take a little picture. There we go, guys. We got some stud albacore today. Bunch, bunch of them, them, bunch of them in the bottom, still some in the cooler, but total fun being out here. Just want to show you guys all the fish we got in one shot here, or at least the big ones. There you go, guys. You saw all the fish, so that's going to wrap up today's video. If you guys liked the video, make sure you throw up a like. Or if you want to comment, that's cool too. And make sure you definitely subscribe to the channel because we're going to be catching more fish like this all the time because that's what we do. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.